Hey guys, what's up? Carter here. Got another Microtech for you to look at, um, but before we do, just a quick word. This is kind of a, uh, a grail to me, I guess you would say. Kind of a lost grail, if that makes any sense. The story behind this is quite some time ago, when I was kind of first getting into knives, I came across these Microtech knives, right? And uh, <laughs> kind of a funny story actually on my first introduction to Microtex. So and early early on when I got into like new knives, you know, new production knives, tactical blades, things like that. Uh, if you watch my How I Got Into Knives video, you know I've always kind of been into them ever since I was little, but they were always like fantasy blades and you know just whatever showed up at my local Walmart, not really looking into it. But I heard people talk about Microtech knives, Microtech knives. And I couldn't really find anything on it, much like Striders, right? I heard people say Strider. I'd look on Amazon. Hmm, there's no Strider knives here. What are they talking about? Uh, I heard about Microtech. And I was aware of M-Tech, those cheap little Chinese knives. And I was like, are they talking about M-Tech knives? Is that what they're talking about? Microtech, M-Tech? So yeah, kind of a funny story. Um, you know, when we first start into hobbies and things, how you get confused. But anyway, so I saw this knife, this exact color, everything, on uh, YouTube. I think it was Dark Child 57 maybe his channel, something like that. Uh, maybe somebody else. I can't remember. I know he has one, though. And uh, I saw it, and I just thought it was so cool, so awesome. I went and looked it up. Uh, finally found it, uh, how much they cost, and nope. No, no chance ever I would own something like that, that expensive. That is insane that anybody would ever pay that much money for a knife. Uh, just no freaking way. No freaking way on earth. Uh, so I kind of shelved it, put it on the back of my mind. Here's the case here. Put it on the back of my mind as an unattainable. And I never really revisited it again until recently. Um, and of course now I have spent more than this on knives and I have a number of knives that cost as much as this one cost so I went ahead and sold a few things and picked one up and so without further ado it's uh, oh it is not that what the heck I could take SF this is the wrong box guys I'm a freaking moron Wrong box. This is for my uh, select fire. Wow. That was dumb. Okay, that was stupid, that whole beginning there, because that's the wrong box. Doesn't matter. Other box looks the exact same. It just says something different. It says something like Halo 5. That's right. Halo 5. I've wanted one of these for, like, ever. Sucker is sweet. Got the uh, beautiful blue. It has the uh, the Halo 5 with the textured, the new textured button on there. It's got kind of like a, uh, it's not knurling, but it's actually cut into the button. You can see how it's barely raised right there. It's got those new proprietary screws, which um, doesn't bother me at all on this model because I never intend to take this apart. I've taken apart a single action out the front and it always ends badly. You need forearms or special tools to get the thing back together. Really cool. I just love the shape of this thing. The size. I mean, look how big that is. That's huge. You can almost two-hand it. The size of this thing and uh, just the shape. It just It's so unique and it looks so cool so many different grip options that you can do on it. But let's fire it. Woo! That's right, I got the Tonto blade. That is one of the most wicked Tontos I have ever seen. I mean, it is really something else. Absolutely cool. Look at the fuller up at the top there. Blood groove. Both sides. Wicked edge, razor sharp, beautiful grind lines. I, I like the look of those grind lines compared to the uh, satin flats, guys. That's just me. Razor sharp tip. This here, that's actually part of the function of the uh, knife itself. 
really nice D2 steel made in 2010 very little play like ridiculous I don't know how they did it very like solid as a rock if there's any Microtech knife that I would say would function well as a tactical blade I would as of right now I'd have to say that you know something from the Halo series super solid look at look at all the grips you got you can choke up like this on it you can back away like that and of course you can get way back like this it's got all this nice jimping for all of these different uh, grips this one right there feels really comfortable this is a brutal blade guys just brutal to uh, bring the blade back press the button you pull back the charging handle as you can see it goes back in it says Microtech Halo 5 June of 2010 and then it's got the uh, the uh, serial number right there 1270 this is blue anodized stone washed I believe it's titanium once you pull it back push this up you can see right here these are uh, little detents so they're spring loaded so that's what keeps it locked into place there this thing fires really hard I'm sure you can hear it just that thwunk you know it's not like that kind of uh, shy or you know that I don't know, sometimes Microtechs have that kind of crisper, like, shwing, you know, kind of, sorry, I'm not good at sound effects. But this one, this one just, you can feel it jolt. See, I'll, I'll lightly hold it. I mean, you see how that jolts forward? It just wants to slam out of your hands. Very, very nice. This is one of my favorite knives right now. Love this thing. Single action out the front, so that means that this is under spring tension when it's in the closed position like such. Um, I You pull back the, the blade against the, uh, you can see how there's not any tension now. Pull back the blade to lock the springs in place so they are ready to fire. That's why uh, single actions will always fire harder than double actions. Double actions have kind of their dual thing going on where as it's coming out this way it's charging the springs to go back in and vice versa but this you can just I mean you can make these as strong as you want I mean you can make this so strong that you have to like really like pull it back super hard of course that would probably cause damage to the frame and things like that but uh, this one is just perfect fires really hard but it's not hard to charge very nice no pocket clip um, which makes it look really clean and nice, but um, pocket clip would be kind of nice because I would like to carry this. Um, I can carry it in the pouch if I want. Wow, really cool. One more thing. Um, and as such, it is possible that this can fire in your pocket uh, or wherever it's being stored, which may be a reason why they didn't put a clip on it. However, if I can demonstrate here, you do have to press the button in pretty far for it to fire. So there it's like flush, further, further. I could barely even do it with my index finger. So quite a bit, I mean it's not hard, but there's quite a bit of tension on that button and you have to push it in pretty far. So very well balanced in terms of uh, trying to prevent accidental firings on this thing. Definitely recommend picking one up. They're not cheap, but uh, you know when you consider the uh, awesomeness and the brutality, the size and materials, look at that beautiful anodized hard anodized aluminum frame fit and finish is spot on nothing out of place love that talon logo very cool all right guys that's it that is my halo 5 one grail checked off of my list later